I love the movies. Comedy, drama, action, sci-fi, The Hobbit. What are the experts saying about the movies? 501 movies in 501 days. That's my record. This is my area of expertise. I'm Greg Turkington, the new host of Greg Turkington's On Cinema at the Cinema. Time to get serious about movies. This is going to be fun. That's a wrap. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. My name is Tim Heidecker, the original host and now the new host of On Cinema at the Cinema. Thanks for watching. I'm glad to be back. This is my show, and I appreciate uh, being back and being back with the old host, who is now my guest, Greg Turkington. Greg, thank you so much for being on my show. Hey, guys. I got to say, this has been a wild several months. Um, and I'm going to try to get through this without getting too emotional, but I, I do want to bring everybody up to speed. Um, it's going to be a long show. It's going to be a somewhat painful show because of uh, where we're at. I don't know how much time we're even going to have for the movies, but let me just start by saying last week I was in such a different place because of what I realized all at once was I do not belong in Jackson Hole with the filth trash that live there, bad people. Don't ever go there. Ter terrific. Let me put it this way. I was getting guys that were involved with KKK, all right? I didn't know that when I was hanging out with them and doing business with them, but I found out later. It was a bad scene, and I had to get out of there. And I was looking at Greg Turkington's On Cinema, At the Cinema, and it dawned on me that where I belong was what I had given up, which was being the host of On Cinema, At the Cinema. And I had it all. And it dawned on me. I said, why did I throw all that away to go to Jackson Hole to live amongst these terrible people who are doing terrible things to me? And I have to say, I, I want to thank Greg Turkington here for agreeing to come back and be the expert that he is on this show. I know that was a painful conversation we had to have. And I am proud of myself for making these hard choices. And I want to salute myself and pat myself on the back for having the courage to admit when I'm wrong and also to acknowledge that there is a place for me, and it is here as the host of this show. It is great to be back as the head of the On Cinema family. I am the, pa the father of the On Cinema family, and the father has come home, much like in the classic Bible tales of Abraham and Moses and Jesus Christ himself. I have come back, and my flock is now amongst us, and I am the shepherd to this flock. Almost like in the story of Christ, he has risen from the grave. Uh, and I am back to reclaim what is mine. Like the Ten Commandments. Like the Ten Charles Commandments with Charlton Heston, yeah. You can almost quote Arnold Schwarzenegger himself by saying, I'm Bach. And, you know, Greg, you, you demonstrate a, a real cautionary tale. You, you've taught us that you can't do everything. And um, Greg did the best he could, but I think we all agree that uh, I belong back here running this ship and it's great to have you on as an expert, and a, you make a great host, make a great guest, and we are great to be back to where we started. Um, yeah, thanks. I'm just, I'm glad to be, you know, doing the, providing the expertise and stuff. Greg, did you want to say something about this experience, and maybe... Um, yeah, you know, I kind of thought it was going to go on longer. I went into this this new season as a new show, new credit sequence that we worked very hard on. Oh, a quick note: we are going to be obviously going back to the old credits. I didn't get a chance to fix that. That's what everybody wants to see. You could mix the old and new credits since we're both sort of the regulars on this show. So you say something mm -hmm. about movies, I say something about movies. I think that would be kind of cool. I want to thank you for coming in and doing that, I mean, yeah, giving yeah. it your best shot. And, uh, it I almost look gives you. A, to, uh, excuse me. It almost gives you a little more perspective on the work that goes into what I do. Yeah, you know, um, I always thought what you did was tough. Mm -hmm. And then working on last week's episode, I realized, yeah, what he does is tough. What's even tougher is doing his job, <laughs> also doing my job as the expert, and also producing segments, outside segments like uh, Golden Age Comedy. So I was actually doing more than you've ever done on the show or than anyone's ever done. I was doing it all. It was a one-man show. And it was a bit exhausting, I got to say. All right, well... Things are back to the way they should be. All things come back to the center, as my guru says. Um, I've been reading an interesting book I'm going to talk about next week. What are the movies? Today? Yeah, we'll get to the movies in a sec. Uh, mm -hmm. There's so much to get through. Uh, news about Decker. Decker 2 is definitely happening. Everybody's been asking about that. Um, sort of going about it in a weird way. Uh, as some of you guys know, I took out a very large small business loan through the federal government to publish 
uh, hog shots, which is not happening, thank God. Oh, that's not happening? Yeah, um, I do not recommend motorcycles uh, to anybody anymore. People should drive cars a lot safer and stick with cars. You don't need to be on a motorcycle. No. So the money's there. I've got a timeshare right now in Hawaii, the island of Hawaii, where I will be uh, spending time and shooting Decker too, because I have an opportunity to attract a better, cl higher class of talent, people like um, Clon Firth could be in it. Whoever I'm going out to, say somebody like F. Murray Abraham or somebody like this, it's going to sound a lot more appealing now that I'm shooting in Hawaii. They're going to jump on the next flight. Well, that's a good idea. You keep your core cast of Joe and myself. I mean, somebody like Abdul probably doesn't need to come back because he's dead, but uh, Special Agent Kington or the President are sort of what makes the show what it is. And then bring in some name actors to bring in more interest in the series. That's and we're that, still that, trying to figure that out, who's going to be in the show, mm -hmm. how many characters reoccur. I'm happy to be a part of it wherever you're shooting it. I so. appreciate that, Greg. And uh, so I want to thank everybody for their support and their encouragement. On Cinema is back on track. Decker 2 is back on track. And let's talk about movies. Fifty Shades of Grey, starring, or directed by Sam Taylor Johnson, starring Dakota Johnson, another Johnson, Jamie, O'Darn Jamie Dornan, and Aaron Taylor Johnson, so another three Johnsons in this movie, uh, directed by Johnson and, direct, and starring Dakota Johnson and Aaron Taylor Johnson, as well as Jamie Donson, Jamie uh, Dornman. All right, well, we all know this is a famous book uh, about literature student Anastasia Steele's life changes forever when she meets handsome yet tormented billionaire Christian Grey. So Fifty Shades of Grey is about Christ, uh, the name Christian Grey. Uh, this was a por almost a porno in my book. It was a sexy thriller full of uh, nudity and sex of all kinds and dirty sex and uh, pornographic sex. And it was uh, hard, to keep, uh, my, hard to keep calm during the movie because it was very raunchy. And I loved it. I give it five bags of popcorn and five cold glasses of soda to put between my legs. Um, to cool down. Yeah, I mean, that's one way of looking and, uh, at it. I saw it more as a kind of a romance. It did have some adult elements to it, but a lot of movies do these days. That's nothing new, I and mean, it's just the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. I think that if it's Valentine's Day or something, this might be the movie for you. So I do give it five bags of popcorn and five little chocolate hearts in a, a commemorative, uh, like a heart-shaped little gift box. All right, enough of that movie. Um, we got the next movie come up, Kingsman. That's funny, The Secret Service. Seems like uh, the old character from Decker 1, Kingsman. Kingston, Kingston yeah. He's not old character, he's current character, but uh, yeah, Kingston, who is the special agent, master code breaker, breaks all the codes. Mm -hmm. The director, Matthew Vaughn, starring Colin Firth, Firth the old Michael Caine, and uh, Taron Egerton, whoever that is. Uh, veteran secret agent, sounds like somebody I know. John Decker. John, uh, Jack Decker. Or sorry, Jack Decker. Takes a, a young upstart under his wing. That's a very similar to Decker. Um, I think it's interesting you see now, Decker was so successful online, you see a lot of these new movies coming out that have sort of that tip of the hat to well, It's the more Decker than series. a tip of the hat when they're taking names of our characters and putting them in the title of the movie. It's a little bit more than that. But, I mean, we when you were writing the original Decker, you were looking at James Bond and sort of no, tipping your hat true. to Bond. And so it makes sense that's that not true. that I was carries not through and that they by James tip Bond our at all. So hat to us. That. But so. um, more people like Jack Reacher, Cobra, starring Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Nonetheless, there are a lot of similarities to Decker, which is kind of what makes this good, is when you're watching it, it reminds you of how much we really appreciate Decker's appearance on the uh, action scene. And uh, so I really enjoyed this. Well, I love this movie. I give it five bags of popcorn and one soda. I give it five bags of popcorn and a videotape on which we've put five episodes of Decker because uh, I think these guys learned a lot from it and it shows. All right, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next no, week. No, 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 we still got to do Golden Age Comedies, my segment that I produce. No, we don't. That segment's dead. We're not doing that segment because... No, because we contracted for the whole... Season that contract these. doesn't mean anything to me. It's something you made with. Well, it means something to Mark. Uh, I don't. Mark, it I'm means Ma something to me. Let me. Explain something to him. Mark, I apologize, but things changed here, and we're now 
uh, kind of going back to the original format. It doesn't, unfortunately, that segment's not going to be something we continue on. I can make them quicker. Uh, I've order. been getting a lot of emails from people who like the segment from last week. Right, we, can the, we talk about this after the show? Can I do this one just because I, I already watched it and, uh, you know, I have my suit. For now, Mark, why don't you go ahead and give us your uh, movie there and, and we thank you for your time and really, really do wish you the best. Okay? It's a recurring segment. It's not a recurring segment. That segment is done. Thank you. Godfrey Daniels! Hello, every my chickadees, and welcome back to uh, Golden Age Comedy Classics. Today I have a good one for you today. It's called Soul Food. And it stars Vanessa Williams and Vi Vivica A. Fox in this fun family romp. They get together and for dinner each week and they dish up the laughs. It's a warm and uh, embracing family comedy. So this is the end of a co golden, golden comedy classic. I'm W.C. Fields. Just want to take a second to uh, thank Greg Turkington for having me on. Uh, I really, I know it's it's going to be apparently it's short lived, um, but uh, I, I had a lot of fun, and I hope you got it. Did too. Thanks. For uh, thank you, W.C. Fields. And uh, that's it for now. And we'll see you next week with more pop, with more uh, on cinema at the cinema. The thing is, we paid to get the, the credits made for that thing. That's we're fine. not. We we'll throw that away. And he doesn't. We don't see him on set again. Well, you need to give the segment a chance because it's been no, pretty popular. I've been getting chance. a lot of emails, and I produced it, and I'm pretty proud of it. Okay. Well, it goes away today. Well, that's just your opinion. That's well, my show. So thank you very much. All right. I need to go and uh, hit IKEA because the mattress that you have for me sucks.